No, no. These officers stopped before arriving at the coordinates. They had gone on record and admitted that they had mistaken an animal for a live man overboard on their way to their destination. But why then didn't they try to rescue what they believed was a man overboard? They approached what they believed to be a man overboard, and when they realized it wasn't a person but an animal, it appears curiosity took over, and they completely abandoned protocol. The, the eyes of whatever this is, that's drawn a great deal of attention. What do you make of them, those glowing eyes? Yes, and that attention was from biologists who say, this is a seal, just as the officer in question later affirmed. I want to bring in Paul Robertson here. Paul, is that true that this could be a seal? Uh, yeah, um, seals' uh, eyes reflect light that way. Um, they bounce off of uh, reflective cells in the back of the retinas, which gives that glowing effect. The reflective layer is called the tapetum lucidum. Uh, it helps them see in the light environments in deep water. Officer Green, but, wait, but um, I would offer that uh, the animal in the footage seems to have a pronounced sagittal crest. Uh, the nose of the ridge on its skull, and I don't know of any seals that have such a prominent skull ridge. Officer Greenwood, any response to this? I trust the public will accept the findings of the marine biologists who reviewed this footage and still command the respect of their peers. Paul, uh, any response to that? Uh, I'm curious what uh, marine biologists would actually believe that's seal. Gentlemen, 